kids welcome to the maths class today we will do measurement the main objective of today's learning is to understand what is measurement and what are the different units of measurement now first we will learn what is measurement measurement is finding a number that shows the amount or a size of something we measure three main things that is length weight and capacity in length we will see how long or short an object is in weight how heavy or light an object is and in capacity how much a container can hold usually we use capacity for liquids only now let's learn more about length children we use standard units of length to measure the object the biggest unit of length is kilometer it is usually used to measure roads railway tracks the standard unit of length is meter and it is used to measure a shirt piece dupatta turban etc the smaller unit of length is centimeter it is used to measure the small objects like hanky patka pencil scale etc number 4 is smallest unit of length that is millimeter it is used to measure very small objects like sharpener eraser etc let us do some exercises the exercises circle the longer object kids here two pencils are given and we have to circle the longer pencil next is a dupatta or a hanky now we will see which one is the longer one in between them that is a dupatta so we will circle a dupatta here in this picture two candles are given and we will circle the longer candle next example is of a water bottle or a glass we have to circle the longer object so we will see that in between them which one is the longer one the answer is water bottle so we will circle a water bottle let us take one more example here the picture of a candy and a chocolate is given and we have to circle the object which is longer one so we will circle a chocolate here next exercise is write units in which we measure the following things here different things are given and we have to write their units in which which we measure the following things number 1 is railway track number 2 scale number 3 shirt piece number 4 road and number 5 ribbon now number 1 is railway track so we use a kilometer to measure the railway track number 2 is scale now which unit we use to measure the scale centimeter so we will write centimeter here number 3 is shirt piece shirt piece we measure in meters so we will write m here number 4 is road and we use the biggest unit of length to measure the road and that is kilometer so we will write kilometer number 5 is ribbon we buy ribbon in meters and centimeters also so we will write meters and centimeters the next exercise is write two things which we measure in number 1 kilometer number 2 meter and number 3 centimeter we measure road and railway track in kilometer we measure sari turban in meter and number 3 is centimeter we measure scale patka in centimeter now let us see its copy approach we'll write here measurement m e a s u r e m e n t measurement now in next line we will write length l e n g 
th length now leave one line one dot the first point is biggest unit of length b i g g e s t biggest unit u n i t unit of o f of length l e n g t h length equals 2 which is the biggest unit of length the biggest unit of length is kilometer so we will write here kilometer it's k i l o m e t r e kilometer in next line in the bracket we will write the short form of kilometer that is k m now leave one line to dot second point is standard unit of length s t a n d a r d standard u n i t unit of length l e n g t h length now which is the standard unit of length the standard unit of length is meter it's m e t r e meter and in the bracket we will write the short form of meter that is m now leave one line three dot smallest unit of length it's s m a l l e s t smallest u n i t unit of length l e n g t h length now which is the smallest unit of length millimeter it's m i l l i milli m e t r e meter and again in the bracket we will write the short form of millimeter that is m m now leave one line four dot one kilometer in place of kilometer we will write the short form of kilometer that is km 1 km equals 2 now how many meters are there in 1 km there are 1000 meters so we will write here 1000 meters now leave one line 5 dot half km if in 1 km there are 1000 meters then in half km there are 500 meters now leave one line 6 dot 6 dot is 1 meter equals 2 now how many centimeters are there in 1 meter there are 100 centimeters 100 cm centimeters leave one line 7 dot half meter equals 2 again in half meter how many centimeters are there 50 centimeters so we will write 50 cm centimeter let us recall what we have learned today today we have learned the meaning of measurement and the three main things to measure that is length weight and capacity and the copy approach and exercises related to length now kids i hope you all understood about the meaning of measurement its units and more about length so open your maths copy and snap homework and do your work thank you